Hey, what's up guys? This is Joel Adams with Iridesium and today we're going to be taking a look at creating some real-time rendering in Blender's viewport without EV. I've been able to achieve some pretty realistic results just in Blender's viewport. Um, EV looks like it's going to be a pretty powerful tool, but it is not finished yet. And uh, so until then, we got to work with the tools we have. I took this example and uh, recreated the materials in the Blender viewport and was able to get a result that was pretty close to what they had in Eevee. The only difference that I can tell is that Eevee has post-processing, viewport post-processing, and um, the reflections that I created in Blender were all fake. They are not actual reflections of the environment. However, they do look pretty good, and when they are used correctly, you can get some pretty impressive results. The nice thing about this is that you get real-time reflections and real-time shading, however you do not get post-processing or strand render. So anyways, we're going to be taking a viewport that looks something like this and changing it to look something like this. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start by adding in a cube. So shift A, mesh cube, hit G, Z, 1 to set it on the grid floor, then add a plane, scale it up to 6. Uh, then I'm going to right away add in a sun lamp and move that up a little bit. The location doesn't really matter, but if you rotate it, uh, you'll get some your you'll get your shadows extruding out from behind the cube um, just so that you can see the shading then switch over to blender game um, I'm gonna the first thing I'm gonna do is go over here turn on textured and uh, then I'm gonna go under the properties settings and turn the shading from multi texture to GLSL then I'm going to grab the sun lamp and go ahead and turn the strength up to 2, make it a little brighter. Then turn on shadow. Then go ahead and turn on environment lighting, set your um, environment to sky color uh, so that you can set your sky color and get um, realistic environment lighting. Then I'm going ahead and set the zenith color to something a little brighter, turn on world background and uh, then I'm going to go ahead and switch over to Blender Internal. This will allow us to check Blend Sky and that will give us a more realistic sky. Then just mess around with your colors till you get something that you like. And uh, basically that's it. Then if you go to File and uh, Save Startup File, then you will get this as your default viewport. It's pretty powerful and it's much more realistic. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the cube and add in a sphere. I'm going to move it up. If you hit T, you can open up the tools panel and smooth shading. Then I'm going to add a material and change its color to like a bluish. You can see we get this material that looks sort of plastic. Um, I'm going to switch out the sphere for a Suzanne monkey head and uh, just set it on the floor. Rotate it, set it on the floor, and... Uh, Add a subdivision surface to smooth it out a bit, and um, then I'm going to go ahead and apply that material that we made on the sphere. Then go to the textures tab, add a texture, image texture, and open an environment map of some kind. Then set its mapping to reflection, and you will get reflections, real-time reflections in the viewport. If you set the blend mode to add, it will add it over top your color, and um, you can change your color to whatever you want and have a shiny metal reflective material in the viewport. You can also switch out your environment texture and get different reflections. With tweaking and building up advanced materials, you can get something like I got with the EV test uh, image. And it's pretty powerful and it's very realistic. Basically, this is a pretty good placeholder until EV gets here. So thank you guys for watching and uh, I will see you next time. This is Iridesium.